Hey y'all, Instinct Survivalist coming to you again with another Two Tip Tuesday. It's Tuesday, so our two tips are feather sticks and practice. Nobody likes doing that. So let's talk about practice, and then what we're going to do is we're going to zoom into the feather sticks. I'm going to show you how to do that, and I'm also going to post this not just in the Two Tip Tuesday, but in the playlist called Instructional, so you can refer back to it multiple times. So, why practice? Well, I carry in to the woods several knives, whether it's a Mora, whether it's my LT Wright, whether it's my new Frontier knife. And the reality is, is that although I know how to make a good feather stick with more knives, because that's what I started with outside of my Swiss Army knife, I, I need to know how to do it with another knife. And the real main reason why is this. My more knife stays in my bag, okay? If I need it, it's there. If I need to make feather sticks and it's a survival situation and I don't have a choice, I'll use my more knife. However, I want to be able to use one knife. I normally carry this one on my belt, so I know how to use that to make feather sticks. Well, I have a new knife, and it may become my primary, but I've never made a feather stick with it. So it may be one of those where it sucks as a feather stick maker, or, hey, guess what? You can make feather sticks with every one of these knives, but you've got to practice. You've got to learn how. If you don't get the dirt time, so to speak, then you're just reading a book. Right? I'm just reading, hey, great, I know how to do it. No, you don't. If you don't practice what you're reading or practice what you're watching, then it's really just watching entertainment. And maybe I'm here to entertain you. Maybe I do entertain. But that's not the only purpose for these videos, is to make sure that I'm teaching you some of the different skills, some of the different things, so that you know how to do them in the future. So practicing is key, whether it is knife work, knife practice, safety skills, feather sticks, tarps, and shelters, and the list goes on. How do you build a fire? Well, if you read about it, that doesn't mean you know how to build one, okay? So that's why you continue to practice, and you continue to practice and practice and practice. Military has this saying, practice until you can't get it wrong. I'm kind of of the same mindset. Great philosophy, great theory, and that's one of the reasons why I continue to practice, 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 all right? So there's practice, keep that, take it away with you. Now, on to feather sticks. Well, Bill, it's what instructors use to pass the time so that they don't have to deal with us. Kinda, but not quite. And let me explain why. My kids know how to make feather sticks, and the reason being is because I did just that. Do them, make a feather stick, make a feather stick, make a feather stick, gather wood, make a feather stick, make a feather stick. And the main reason to make a feather stick is so that you have a way to light a fire in the harsh conditions. So if I look at the fact that my wood may be wet and it's getting ready to, to open up the skies and pour down rain again, if I look at my wood may be wet, the inside becomes dry. Plus, with me making thin strips or thin feathers, if you will, that dries out a lot quicker and can take a flame. Okay? Now, if I do the feather stick and I have a nice tender bundle that I've kept with me, nice and toasty, nice and warm, and dry it out, I put it down, it lights up, I throw the feather sticks in there, boom. All of a sudden, you've got the ability to have a hotter, nicer fire, even if your wood is wet, okay? So why do we make feather sticks? That's the why. Now, how do we make feather sticks? So let's look, I'm gonna take and reposition the camera so that you can see how to make a feather stick and why it's important. And keep in mind, there's two different ways to make them. One is a pushing method and one is a drawing method. And we'll go through both of those, all right? So stay tuned for that. Okay, guys, so you've already seen these feather sticks and you see how nice and thin they are, how nice and curly they are. And you see some of these are really paper thin, okay? Now, how did I get these? Why do we do these this way? And what's the overall purpose, right? How did we get them this way? So what I've done is I've just taken all of that off so that we can start from scratch. Now, basically what you do is you're just taking your knife and running it down the grain. Make sure you get a good grip on your knife. By the way, uh, I got this basic for doing a class. Uh, very thankful for, for getting it because there was a whole uh, deliverable had to be done. Uh, hey, this is a great knife, but I like the fact of the handle on it. So this is a more knife basic uh, for those of you that are interested. But what you're doing is you're just literally bringing the knife down along the face of your piece of wood. Okay? And you're doing it really, really thin. 
okay? Now, if I were to take and cut into it this way, then what happens is, is you're doing nothing but cutting into the wood and it's not gonna give you the shavings or the little thin pieces that you want. Now, the other side of this comes down to is when I'm done, what do I do with all these? Well, great, that's more feathers, okay? Even though they came off the piece of wood, it is the shavings that are important. So we wanna make sure that we take, I'm gonna take this piece off again, all right? What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and we're gonna go, go along the side of it, right? We're gonna go along the side so that we can get us a nice set of feathers. And what you see is just the ability for that just to kind of give a nice close shave and start curling those feathers over. Me, I know because they're not curling sooner, I know that I may want to take and may, maybe not cut it as deep. And so if I do it not quite as deep, you see how the curls come a little bit differently. All right, now this is using a pushing method. And all these right here, I can take and I can put them in my fire. When you're done, you just wanna pop them off. You can take and just twist and they'll pop off, okay? So there's that. The other way to do it, and I'm not as good at, good at doing it this way as I am the push method, but it's actually holding the knife still and pulling the stick. Well, this is more basic. Apparently, I'm better than I thought I was. So, here is that. Now, for some kids, that is actually more beneficial. I found that with some adults, it's also more beneficial because they're not having to push their knife. Okay, so that's how you do a feather stick is you just continue to go. Now, let's go back to visiting or revisiting the practice portion of this. If I take and put my knife up, you'll notice that the other one is still unsheathed. That's bad form, Bill but I'm actually just taking and running the other one down so that I can make sure that I still know how to do them. And again, you do not have to be perfect in this. Oh, well, Johnny's is much more curlier than mine and a lot thinner and here's the reality. Does it start a fire? Does this give you what you need? Okay, so if we're looking at survival situations as opposed to somebody judging feather sticks, it doesn't have to be pretty. Okay, and you can see these are a little thicker, still has some curls in it, still like these. And the other side of that is um, I can take and do the same thing. In fact, the one you saw at the very beginning was done with my, uh, with my Elk River. And I'm just going to take and do that on the other side. Okay, getting more of a shaving at this point because I'm not putting it deep enough to get the curls going. All right. So there's that, and then again, with my Frontier knife, I can do the same thing if I wanted to. So just so that you see. The sucker rattles out some, some, some curls, so let's look at it this way. So there you have it guys. That's why you want to do and, and how you do a feather stick. We talked about the why, we talked about the how, and then again, when you're looking at the overall purpose in the long run, what am I going to do? Why do I need these? Uh, you take your tinder bundle, you take your pieces, you stack them all up and just take them, break them off the same way you can, if you will. Stack them all up and then you can use that for your fire. Okay? All right, guys. So there you have it. That's why you practice. And you saw me just go through each one of the knives and practice with it. But it's also why you use feather sticks and, more importantly, how you use feather sticks. So keep that in mind. Next time you're in the woods and you go, oh, it's been raining, I don't know how to make a fire. Use a feather stick. We used to call them, call them fuzzy sticks when I was younger. And it would be literally that we put a point on the end of a stick the thunder's coming in put a point on the end of the stick and then just take and fuzz them up with some of the big pieces like this what that did was allow us to stick it down in the middle of our our fire bundle if you will and then light those on fire with our lighters so big big help when it comes down to wet wood rainy conditions or wet conditions overall and again the practice guys i cannot stress it enough practice 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 it's as important as any of the tips that we've given you so far so, hey y'all, the reality is this. We're taking, we're building this thing, we're making this thing right. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. 
Don't forget to subscribe. Put your comments in if you want to see something specific. Most of all, until then, use your instincts to survive. Thanks for watching.